Well, it looks like, unfortunately, this episode of Game of Thrones has come to an end with Bob Iger still on top at Disney, which is absolutely terrible news for Disney, okay? But we're going to be taking a look into some of the stuff that's going on here because there's a lot of very suspicious, nefarious things that are happening in the background that show that Disney is absolutely being supported by none other than BlackRock and Vanguard and all of these other companies that are, of course, very interested in continuing to push the woke globalist agenda, and Disney is one of their biggest biggest vehicles for pushing that on society. So today there was an absolutely insane showdown that was taking place between Bob Iger and Nelson Peltz, who of course is trying to get a, or was trying to get a, a seat at the board for Disney, and all of that has now come crashing down on Nelson Peltz. Unfortunately, they did not want Nelson Peltz to be at the table at all, and so they have done everything that they could to try to stop that, and they have unfortunately succeeded. So the lead up to the Walt Disney Company's annual shareholders meeting on Wednesday, which is today, is offering more hype and genuine drama than any of the studio's woke movies that have bombed at the box office. Peltz believes Disney has lost its way with all of the woke insanity and is looking to secure board seats. And all of that has now been unfortunately shut down. And as you can see after the news today of Nelson Peltz being thrown out and, and no longer having an option to be on the board... All the, the stocks for Disney have completely tanked over today. It has gone down very, very dramatically. And unfortunately, the news today is good news for Disney, which means it is bad news for the rest of us. Disney shareholders rallied behind longtime CEO Bob Iger, voting Wednesday today to rebuff activist investor Nelson Peltz and his ally, former Disney chief financial officer Jay Rasulo, who has uh, sought seats on the company's board. And of course, as we all know, Nelson Peltz, one of the main reasons for why he wanted to be involved with Disney's because he wanted to, of course, correct the ship, so to speak, with Disney and uh, push out all of the woke agenda nonsense, which is exactly what all of the big shareholders behind Disney absolutely did not want to have happen. So Disney versus Nelson Peltz vote hinges on Vanguard State Street institutional investors. Vanguard State Street and BlackRock are the largest investors at Disney, making them key votes to court at Wednesday's shareholder meeting nears. Those three funds control 16% of Disney shares while other institutional holders which are also woke and uh, shareholders of Disney control another 51% so we all already know that there was absolutely no way the Vanguard, BlackRock, some of these big shareholders were going to let Nelson Peltz come in and ruin their plans for their woke agenda. In 2015, Nelson Peltz's uh, Trion Partners was defeated in an activist campaign against chemical firm DuPont, uh, largely because of the three top three institutional shareholders voting against his slate. Nearly a decade later, those same institutional investors, Vanguard, State Street, and BlackRock, are the three largest shareholders in Disney. Makes you start to see the reason for why they are pushing all of the woke insanity so much. And they can make or break Peltz's campaign against the board that's backing Disney CEO Bob Iger. There was absolutely no way that they were going to be voting in favor of Nelson Peltz whatsoever. And so because of all of this, okay... Disney is continuing to remain as a woke company that is going to push all their DEI nonsense, all their neo-Marxist agendas, and unfortunately, this is going to continue to be the state of Disney as they are being basically propped up by all of these absolutely crazy, insane companies that are, of course, pushing all of the most insane agendas into our society that they can. So with that being said, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. What do you think about this absolutely terrible news? Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.